Hi, I'm Jamie Holt, and I'm the Chief Communications Officer with the Valley Air District. My name is Brent Skaggs. I'm with the U.S. Forest Service. And today we're here to talk about this wildfire season. Well, the forecasts are for above normal temperatures, and with the drought that we're experiencing here in California, this is what, the fourth year? Uh, we're really worried about the uh, conditions as far as affecting the forest and how they're going to burn when fire gets in there. Whether it's a lightning strike or some type of human error, the risk for wildfires this summer is huge. And we're concerned that if there is a wildfire, that smoke will be coming down into the valley and it will be posing a health risk for those of us who live here. Smoke is one of our um, most dangerous air pollutants that, that you might be exposed to, whether it's our wintertime smoke coming from fireplaces and wood stoves, or unfortunately smoke from wildfires during the summer. The smoke will trigger uh, folks who have asthma, they'll have a reaction. It has all sorts of impacts, it can aggravate asthma, emphysema, if you're at risk for heart attack, it can make that risk greater, and it can just irritate us. So there's a whole variety of impacts that come around when we see lots of smoke in the valley, especially if we have several wildfires burning at one time and bringing smoke into the valley. If we're experiencing smoke impacts on the valley floor from a wildfire, the best thing to do is to stay inside. If you do have to be outside, maybe you work outside, take things slow. Try to keep your heart rate from racing. Individuals that um, are sensitive to smoke need to follow their doctor's orders and uh, avoid prolonged exposure to smoke. And if at any time you think that you're feeling an undue medical emergency due to smoke impacts, you need to make sure that you talk to your primary care provider, uh, visit the hospital, visit your doctor, and make sure that every possible uh, step is being taken to protect your health. If you're outside and you can smell smoke or you can see it, more than likely you're being affected by it. A great way to check to see if there are smoke impacts in your neighborhood from wildfires that might be burning in our mountain areas is to go to the valleyair.org website. We have a link right on our homepage that will give you information about where the fire is, if that fire is bringing smoke into the valley and what the air quality impacts might be. In addition, we always uh, recommend that folks sign up for our real-time air advisory network. That's a program where you can get notices to your email, your cell phone, your smartphone about when air quality is deteriorating in your area. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this information has been useful. If you need more information, check out the Valley Air District's website at valleyair.org. Here's wishing you a very safe and fun summer season.